not touching that, but I don't want Pete to touch it. Ugh. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a day in the life with my two kiddos. So if you are new here, I am a stay-at-home mom with um, my toddler, Peyton. She's 18 months, and then I have a two and a half month old little boy. Today is going to be the hot mess express. That is because we're moving and my subscribers are probably sick of me saying this, but I just want to catch up like anybody who's new watching. So we're moving and we bought a house and we're moving into that house the end of February. Well, our closing date is the end of February. I don't know if we're technically moving in yet because the house that we're currently in, um, we're still trying to sell. It's been on the market for two weeks now and it's been a total chaotic situation with like getting the kids out of the house for showings and keeping it clean um, and doing it solo while my husband is at work so we just got a showing request for today at 1 30 and it is 11 right now so i would like to be out of the house by 1 15 but of course now i'm in like panic mode to get the house clean because we were in desperate need to get rid of this house since we already bought another one so peyton is down for a nap kelvin is sleeping he's been sleeping since um eight or so i still need to eat i haven't really eaten much today so i need to vacuum clean the kitchen counters, make sure everything's put away. All the lights are on. I need to get Calvin's little like baby swing into the garage, but I can't do that until we leave. I need to get Peyton dressed, Peyton food for while we're gone. I'm just gonna take them to like a local park. Like I need to go on a rant for a second when it comes to like selling homes. To me, we've dealt with some really inconsiderate buyers. And what I mean by that is like they will request to see our house house multiple times which is fine but like you also have to put yourself in the sellers shoes like we have two babies we need to get out of the house and like I feel like you're wasting everybody's time you're wasting your realtors time you're wasting your time you're wasting my time and if you're just gonna come look at our house to criticize it for 45 minutes and then not give us any sort of feedback or like put in some sort of offer, then stop coming to see our house. And that sounds really bad, like it's on the market and people are gonna wanna come see the house, but like if you're coming to see it multiple times and you're not either gonna give feedback or provide some written offer, like even if it's a low ball offer, just put in a freaking offer and some of the feedback we've gotten is like the rooms seem small so jeff and i are trying to get rid of as much furniture as possible because we're not taking it to the new house anyways so we figure if we get rid of it that the rooms will look bigger so like our bedroom set is for sale we have like a random coffee table an elliptical and some other stuff that we're getting rid of so my priority is to get rid of all that stuff before our open house is we're having two open houses on saturday and sunday which that's another thing. Thankfully, Calvin um, is a really good sleeper, like out in public and like in the car and things like that. So we don't have to like worry about nap times um, with him at least. That's a total of eight hours this weekend that we have to like get the kids out of house, get it clean. And while I think open houses are great to get like foot traffic in, I also think that it's kind of a double edged sword because I think you're gonna have people walking through your home that just have nothing better to do and wanna go look at a house and they're not serious buyers. So it's kind of like a double edged sword. I need to eat, I've barely eaten today. I need to make some coffee so I have energy to get through this chaotic day. Thankfully, I don't have to work out today because I worked out yesterday and I'm working out tomorrow. And I think that's all I wanted to mention. I did start to record a weekend vlog this past weekend, but we did have a showing and things just got like really crazy and I was just not in a good mood. I don't think you guys wanted to watch that. So I'll insert a clip now to give you a quick update as far as like this past week on Peyton and some other things that have happened. So I'll insert that now. I mentioned in last weekend's vlog that we bought a house. So um, the inspection was this past Friday and nothing major came up, which was great news. The house is only a year old, so we didn't suspect anything would come up, but that came back with flying colors. Our current home is still on the market. We haven't had any written offers yet. 
but today we do have a showing at 4.30. This is gonna be the second time that this couple, or group, I guess, I don't really know what they are, <laughs> um, are coming back for a second time. So we're really, really crossing our fingers that they put in our offer. It seems like from the feedback they gave their realtor that they really liked the house. The reason why they didn't put in an offer the first time was because at the time we had two verbal offers, but they fell through because they were out of state buyers and they didn't want to be like in a bidding war type of situation. So they didn't put in an offer the original time they came. So we're really hoping that this time is gonna do the trick. So Peyton actually ended up getting really sick this week. We went to a birthday party last Saturday and I think she caught something from that because there were quite a bit of kids there. She ended up getting like the stomach bug and she was like down for the count or out for the count for, oh gosh, she ended up throwing up. So this was a whole story too. So Tuesday night we had a showing. So Jeff came home early from work and we drove around. We were just gonna take Peyton to a park. And on the way to the park, she ended up projectile vomiting in the car, all over the car seat, all over her. It was the first time she's ever thrown up. So of course she started crying. I'm sure she didn't know what the heck was happening. And plus it just doesn't feel good to throw up in general. So we didn't have a spare clothes or anything. So thankfully I did have like clothes that I was taking to donation in the back of my car that were like super tiny. She's 18 months and the clothing was like nine months. So she had like a onesie on that wasn't snapped, but at least she had like clean clothes on. Jeff threw away the pajamas she was wearing. And then ever since then, she did throw up two more times that night. And ever since then, she hasn't thrown up or anything, but she's just been like really lethargic and not herself at all. Sleeping a lot, not eating. So she definitely had some sort of stomach bug, but happy news is that she's on the mend and feeling much better today. I would say she's probably like 80, 90% there. Eating a lot more, which I'm so happy. Like there's nothing more helpless feeling and heartbreaking than seeing your baby sick and not really being able to do anything for them. Our doctor said it was a virus and it just needed to like run its course. She couldn't like, there was no medication that they could give her basically. Just lots of love and Pedialyte and we did the brat diet. So it seemed to help even though she didn't really eat them. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. Literally all I put on was a little bit of concealer and I didn't address this in my last video either, but I ended up getting my lash extensions back on. I had them on for like four to five years. <laughs> straight and then when we moved to North Carolina I took a break from them um, but I am back on the lash extension train and I feel so much more like myself as ridiculous as that sounds just a little bit of concealer a little bit of bronzer that's it and I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you guys oh I wanted to mention that I ended up purchasing my new Warby Parker glasses and, and I think our first vlog of 2020 I had you guys vote on which glasses um, to get and you guys voted on the Percy's so those were the ones that I ended up getting let me see if I can get them on one-handed so I love them um, definitely different than what I usually wear I usually wear squares but I must say I really do like these so thank you to everybody who voted it was very helpful someone's Come on. going for a little ride outside Come on, Come on, little nugget. Get your pizza, man. good job Good job, oh, yeah, get your feet in there first. There you go. Peyton's going on a little drive. Say you bye ready? bye. You ready, Chicken Nugget? Let's go. Vinny, stay here. Gotta get the headlight. You can't see me. Vinny, stay here. Bye, P. Bye, P. Bye, P. Okay, so I just got a little bit of breakfast going. I have some egg whites, some toast. So while that is finishing cooking, I'm gonna wipe down the floors in the kitchen and then the buzzer just went off with the laundry. So I also need to fold what is in the dryer. Calvin is kind of tossing and turning. So hopefully he stays asleep for like 15 minutes so I can get this done, 20 minutes, and then um, probably feed him out with him for a little bit it is 10 30 so i still have a little bit of time i have 11, three hours before they're here about two and a half ish 
just after two and a half before we have to leave but like my anxiety just gets like really going when i'm here by myself doing this because i just don't want to forget every anything and i want to make sure the house is like perfect for the showing so let's go ahead and clean up these floors because Jeff and I this past weekend went there while we needed to blow some time during another showing and there was this nightstand that we really liked but at the time they only had one so I went back today to see if they have two and unfortunately they don't so we're kind of back at square one with finding nightstands so I'm gonna take them to the park now it's 65 degrees out so it's really nice a little bit gloomy but at least the temperature is warm enough to take them to the park it's 1:35. our showing was supposed to start at 1:30. But um, I haven't gotten a notification on my phone that they're there yet. Um, the showing's supposed to go to 2.30, so it'll be good timing by the time we get to the park. We'll let her run around for like a half hour or so and then load them back, load them back up and get to the house. Um, but it was a funny story about the nightstand. So I went there, found it, and I asked the store associate if they had a second one. So she went in the back to go see if they did. And as she came back, she said, you know, we don't have a second one, but there could be another store near us that does. So if you go to another store and they do, just give us a call and we'll put it on hold. And I was still standing there and this lady came up like behind us. She must have heard our conversation was like, I'm interested in this nightstand. How do I go about buying it? And I'm like, I just couldn't help but like laugh and just say it wasn't meant to be. Those nightstands were not meant to be ours. So anyways and i have to do a little bit of a shout out because jeff and i's last weekend vlog um i'll link it here we had asked y'all for your advice on like if you've gone through the process of selling a home with kids like what were some like things you did to make the process a little bit easier and somebody had recommended i'll leave her comment like on the screen down below that um she had like a hamper basically that she just threw everything in and then threw it in the car like on the way out the door and it's like pretty ingenious it sounds like pretty obvious like why wouldn't you do that but Jeff and I never did we would just always like cram things in different like corners of the house and then couldn't find it later so I took your advice so thank you so much because I don't know you can see it in the back it's kind of dark but I just took like a laundry hamper and threw Peyton's dirty clothes she had like a dirty diaper when we left and got a little bit on her changing pad so I threw her changing pad in there and it's just been like a lot less stressful just to throw all her junk in there like little toys that she's playing with on the way out the door so thank you so much for leaving that advice because it has really helped us are we at your favorite park are we at your favorite park? They're doing some construction, aren't they? Hi, beautiful! He's little mister bundled up. Hi, baby! This is her favorite park, and we've been here a couple times recently. We've been here numerous times, but recently, past few times, there's been nobody here, so we've had it all to ourselves. I like this park because they have like a little kid area and then this is like the big kid but they have like this spongy floor not the wood chips little miss is like allergic to wood chips she breaks out in like these little red bumps everywhere on her skin so I always have to give her a bath if she's like playing around in it so I like this one a little bit better and if she falls it's a little bit more cushiony right what are you doing you're so pretty. What are you doing, baby? Is it too windy? Look at this little guy. We're working on his cradle cap. His cradle cap's been kind of bad. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass. You look so cute today. Hi, Dancy Dancy. 
bird. Yeah. Can you say hi? People tell us Busy girl. To get a grip ourselves and get a job. We didn't care what we were told. Cause when we were younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow. I'm slightly terrified right now. Is that a condom wrapper? Don't touch it, P. P, don't touch it. <gasps> Freaking A, it is. Come on, at like a children's park? The frick. I'm not touching that, but I don't want P to touch it. Ugh. People are so disgusting. I have somebody coming over to the house. Um, in about an hour, I saw a Facebook post that somebody sadly lost their home to a fire. And they're looking for baby girl things. I don't think she has had the baby yet. I reached out to her and said that I had some like baby girl clothes I'd be happy to give to them. And I have like a crib sheet and like an infant towel and things like that. So Peyton and I are heading upstairs to go grab like a baby gift bag so I can put everything neatly in there. I'll show you some of the things I'm giving to her because um, they're just so tiny and precious. Yep, we're gonna go get the gift bag, right? We're working on climbing stairs. Mostly climbing downstairs safely. Peyton has her baby. I actually sold the elliptical today too, so somebody's gonna come pick that up around 6.30 when Jeff is home, because I get really weird when people come to get things when we're by ourselves. Come on, strong girl. We're gonna go this way. This way. Yeah, that really, that would have hurt if you dropped it on your foot. Come on. So I have this little organizer from Target that I actually store all of our gift bags in. And then I have this box up here that I put like all of our tissue paper and like gift cards and things. So, and I labeled them. So this one is like blank and birthday. This one's special occasion, like weddings and babies and then Christmas. So I need to find a pretty, actually this one would probably work. Put everything in there. Actually, just having a girl, I'll put it in there for her. Should do it. And where do you think you're going? Oh, you're gonna go label something? It's like a laptop, isn't it? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Are you coming back? Are you gonna label something? Like mother, like daughter. Yeah. What did you find? Oh, you're typing up something? Yeah. Yeah. I have a couple of things from Calvin that I'm gonna give her, just some like plain white sleepers. They're newborn. But then Peyton's stuff, this little black tutu onesie. This is my little black dress. Um, and then just some like random onesies. I think these are three month. Yeah. So then I have like a bunch of those, some little pants, a random like baby book, a little unicorn hooded towel, and then I have a crate and barrel that we never used. Quilt, so cute, has a little hippo on it. She um she has the crib sheet, but we've never used the quilt. And then I'm gonna give her our crib because her crib is so low now that we can't use a crib skirt. So I figured she'll have some nice goodies for her little one. It's so sad that her and her family lost her home and I would hope that somebody would help us. So um, putting some good vibes out there and helping another family. Bubby, can you say hi? Tell him you're a smiley boy. You happy? Happy. It's dead. Yeah. So I just got bath. Calvin and I are just gonna do some floor time. It's 8.30ish. Jeff is working a little bit. <laughs> Peyton has been in bed for quite some time. I don't know if I've said that he's had a bath already. He has really severe cradle cap right now. And um, this mom group that I'm in, like local to this area, I posted a comment asking for recommendations on how to cure like severe cradle cap. Peyton had a little bit, but not as bad as Calvin. His hair looks really blonde right there. Um, 
and a lot of people were saying coconut oil olive oil what else were they saying oh the i think frida baby has like a kit system thing mistella has a system it's like a, <laughs> it's like a shampoo and a cream um so we decided to try like the all natural at home remedies first so yesterday I spent quite a bit of time putting coconut oil on his head and just using like a little comb and trying to loosen up everything. It looks a lot better today. His face is a little red right now, I think just from the bath. But I have been using this Baby Ganix Organic Lip and Face Balm on his face because his cheeks tend to look a little red and dry. Um, but when I put that on there, like within an hour, half hour or so, it looks a lot better. Right? Look how <clears throat> handsome you are. Um, what else did I want to mention? So the showing, yeah, they never ended up showing up, so so much for a showing. That was really frustrating, especially since I started the blog ranting about how inconsiderate people are. <laughs> but I guess it just wasn't meant to be, so... We have the two open houses this weekend, and then our realtors are suggesting that we have another one next weekend. <laughs> so yeah, just trying to get this house sold. Jeff and I are both under a lot of stress with selling it. I'm trying to stay positive, Jeff and I buried St. Anthony in our front yard yesterday because his aunt told St. him. St. Joseph. I thought it was St. Anthony. St. Anthony's who you pray to when you lose something. <laughs> Well, we lost a lot of money on this house, so maybe we should pray to St. Anthony. <laughs> um, we buried St. Joseph, sorry, and Jeff corrected me, into the front yard because his aunt mentioned that um, it should help, hopefully. I'm going to help to be we. Yes, so please, please, please say a prayer for us that um, we're able to sell this home and just move on with our lives but we are really looking forward to the new house that's lifting our spirits right cal but i am going to go ahead and close out this video i hope you guys enjoyed following us along in a day in the life and we will see you in the next one